So today I'm going to show you how to insert basic equations into Google Docs. So here I have a data set that I'm ready to work with in my Google Doc and I'm going to go ahead and insert a, an equation that would represent solving for the mean of these data. So to do that, what you do is you click here where it says insert and then you'll see that an option is to insert equations. So go ahead and click on the insert and then equation and you'll notice that it it gives you a box already down here. That's where you're going to insert your, your new equation. So to insert the equation solving for the mean, the mean is represented by a capital M, so I'm just going to type that on my keyboard. And in Google Docs, anything that you can type on your keyboard, you can just type directly into your equation. So the equal sign is on your keyboard, so go ahead and find the equal sign on your keyboard and enter that. And so the mean is solved by adding together all of the x values and dividing it by the number of scores there are. So to enter that part of the equation here, what we first need to do is we need to set up a division. So to do that, we're going to click over here where you see this A over B. Click on that and that will set up an equation for you. So the top part of this equation solving for the mean is going to be the sum of the x values. So we represent that by using sigma x. So we'll insert the Greek letter sigma, capital sigma, which you'll find right here in this menu. So click on that sigma, and then we'll just type the letter x on our keyboard. So that shows the top part of our equation there. Now we just want to put the bottom part of the equation, which is we're going to divide the sum of those x values by the number of scores there are. And we represent that by the lowercase letter n. So I'm just going to type that in there at the bottom of my equation. I'm going to click outside of this to get out of the equation. You can also just um, use your right arrow. And then I'll enter the equal sign. And let's go ahead and um, copy. We can copy this and paste it here actually so that we could just fill in the rest of our equation. So let me paste. So now I can just replace each of these symbols with the actual numbers. So the sigma x again represents the sum of all of those x values. So if you add all those x, x values together you should get 14. And then we're going to divide it by the number of scores we have which is Four in this data set. Again, I'm going to hit the right arrow to get outside of that fraction and I'll type the equal sign and then when I divide 14 by 4 I should get 3.5 as my mean. So that's how to do a basic equation of a mean. Let me show you how to insert a couple of more complex equations um, into a, a Google Doc. So the first one I want to work through is going to be the mean squares which is used in ANOVA. So the mean squares, uh, there are two different types of mean squares used in ANOVA. One of them is the MS between. So let's talk about how to represent something with a subscript like that. So to enter in a value, oh yeah, you got to start with a new equation. So click on new equation and then it will allow you to use these again. So I'm going to go ahead and click in this option. And if you're dealing with something that has a subscript, you'll use this X and then it has an A below it. Click on that. And when you do that, then you can type in, so MS. And then if you hit the right arrow after you type that, it takes you to the subscript portion of it. So I'm going to type in between. And again, hitting the right arrow will take you out of that subscript. So the MS between, I'm going to hit equals to represent what uh, the equation is to solve for MS between, um, which is the SS between over the DF between. So to put that equation in, let's go ahead and go to this again, and we'll select that first fraction option as well. So now that we're at the top part of this fraction, I'm going to again use this subscript option to type in the SS 
and then hit the right arrow, and then it lets you put in that subscript of between. Do the same for the bottom. So if you click down here, make sure that the, the cursor is at the bottom of that equation now, and then we're gonna again do the same thing. We click in this menu, that X subscript A, and then if we type in DF, and then hit the right arrow, and then type in between. So that shows you what the equation looks like in Google Docs. Let's try one more example. So this one will be solving for something that has um, a superscript. So for example, R squared. So let's insert again a new equation. So if we're solving for R squared, first we wanna set up the R squared and we'll do that again by using this option here. Instead of that subscript that we used in that last example, we're now going to use this one, which is the superscript. It has the one at the top. So that X with the B at the top. And we're solving for R squared. So I'm just going to type in R on my keyboard. Again, when you hit the right arrow, it will take you to the superscript now. So I'm going to put that 2 on my keyboard to represent R squared. I'm going to hit the arrow again to get out of that superscript and then hit the equal sign on my keyboard to indicate what the equation is solving for R squared. So the equation for R squared is also a fraction, so I'm gonna set up my fraction now. So we'll go ahead and do that in that drop-down menu, and that first option here is our fraction. So I'm gonna click on that, and now that we're at the top of this equation, I'm gonna insert what goes at the top here, which is T squared. So the top of my R squared equation is T squared. I'm going to use this superscript option again here. Click on that. Just enter T on my keyboard. Hit the right arrow. And it takes me to the superscript of the squared. So that's what's on the top of this equation. Now let me move to the bottom of this equation. Again, we have uh, T squared is on the bottom of this equation. You can enter that in the same way I did as the top. So T and then the arrow, and then hit the squared. Hit the arrow again, the right arrow, to get out of that superscript. And then uh, since the plus sign is on our keyboard, I'm gonna go ahead and type the plus sign on my keyboard. And so on the bottom of this equation, we're adding T squared plus DF. I'm just gonna type in DF directly. And so that is how we enter equations into our Google Docs.